Hello friends and welcome back to my channel, you're with Nicole and if you're new here I share lots of delicious homestyle recipes as well as baking tips and tricks. Today I have another awesome Easter recipe for you. We are going to be making hot cross bun bread and butter pudding. This is a bit more of a unique way to enjoy those beautiful hot cross buns at Easter time. I can't wait to share this recipe with you, so let's get to it. So I'll tell you a little bit more about this recipe. What we're gonna do is use these hot cross buns here. You can use any buns that you like, the ones that have fruit, no fruit or chocolate. The great thing as well about this recipe is that it doesn't matter if they're a couple of days old, this is the perfect way to use up those excess hot cross buns. We're then going to make our own custard, smother it all over the top and then add some chocolate Easter eggs. It's gonna look super cute. There's just a few ingredients, so let me show you what you are gonna need. So I have some hot cross buns and today I have gone with the fruit variety. I have some caster sugar, some eggs, a little bit of cinnamon and that is optional. I have some Easter eggs to sprinkle on top at the end and then this here is also optional. It's just a bit of icing sugar and that's going to dust this bread and butter pudding at the end as well. Last but not least, we have some thickened cream here. Go ahead and preheat your oven now to a low to moderate temperature. So I've got mine on 160 degrees Celsius um, and find yourself a baking dish. This one here um, is a good size for the amount of rolls that I've got here or buns. Um, so yeah, anything around this size, oval shape, square shape, round shape, whatever you got at home will be fine. We are going to jump straight into it. So what we're going to do is to start off Halve our hot cross buns here. So go ahead and slice them in half. We're going to be using the bottoms first. Next up, go and grab your baking dish and just give it a very light spray with some baking oil. With the bases of our hot cross buns here, we are going to quarter them. So just roughly chop them. And then once they're cut, we can throw them into our baking dish. All along the base. Now we're going to make the custard. So with your cream here, we are going to add the caster sugar straight in and the eggs. Actually, at this point too, you can add your cinnamon. Give it a whisk. Who doesn't love custard? It's just so good. Now, if you do like bread and butter pudding, I have an ebook up on my website. Um, that one is available for purchase and I have a delicious bread and butter pudding recipe as part of that ebook. Now with our beautiful custard mixture here, we're going to pour it all over the base and let it soak up for a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna add probably about half. Beautiful, so the base here now is just covered with that custard and some of the little bits of the buns are starting to rise up. I'm just going to push them down a little bit and make sure that the custard is meeting all of the bits of the bun because I want it to soak it all up. So mine has been soaking for a couple minutes. That bread, that bun is just soaking up all of that custard. So now I'm gonna grab these cute little tops that we have here and add them back into our dish. Now we can't have any leftover custard. So what we're gonna do is pour it in the dish all around those buns. Let up, soak it all up. So cover your baking dish with some tin foil and then we're gonna put this in the oven for about 15 minutes. Then we're gonna remove the tin foil and then we're gonna let it bake again for another 10 to 15 minutes until that custard sets. So into the oven we go. We are at that 15 minute mark. So now it's time to take off that tin foil. 
Well, our pudding is baking away in the oven. It's perfect time to share with you all an inspirational, motivational quote. I love to do that to send the good vibes your way and hope that one of these quotes will connect with you in some way. The one that I found for you today is, support your friends, listen to their ideas, go to their events, buy what they're selling when you can, share their posts, celebrate their victories, and remind them of their importance after their failures. Push them, a little support can go a very long way. And that is a quote by Anonymous in the Daily Mentors to Ignite Your Purpose by Lisa Messenger, really cool book here. Um, but I really like that quote and I think it's really fitting this time of year. It's a really good time to support not just your friends, your neighbors, people in the community, anyone that needs a little helping hand. You can bring a smile to someone's day in some very thoughtful ways that don't have to cost a lot of money. Have a think about different ways that you can bring that smile to your friend's face. And one of them, I've got an idea, get baking. And on that note, it's back to baking. Woohoo! Alrighty. The smell of these hot cross buns is honestly phenomenal. And it looks super cute. I love it. The little crosses are on top. Our pudding looks delicious. So bread and butter pudding is kind of like a Honestly, I find it a strange texture. It's a little bit soggy. It's semi-solid. So we're going to let this set and cool just for a few minutes. But while it does that, I'm going to add in some chocolate, get that nice and starting to melt, but not too melted. We want it to keep it shaped. So I'm going to throw in a couple of eggs now, get it looking super cute before we serve it. I actually ended up cooking, um, cooking my pudding here after I took off the tin foil, I ended up cooking it for another 25 minutes. It needed a little bit longer today than usual. Cute, it looks so, it, it just makes it. Once you put the Easter eggs on top, come check it out. So we have the nice and toasted buns here. They look delicious. We've got most of the custard that's set. We've got a little bit of the softer custard underneath and it's gonna be nice and spongy as well on the bottom. And then we're gonna have little pops of chocolate. Last but not least, we're gonna give this a little dust with that icing sugar. And this is just gonna make it look so beautiful and ready for everyone to eat. It's just the finishing touch. It is definitely time to try this beautiful Easter hot cross bun bread and butter pudding. So I'm gonna, oh yeah, get into this. Yum, got that hot custard coming out. It's just oozing. Most of it's set. There's a little bit that's left over. Nice and soft custard. Yum, and I'm definitely gonna add in some chocolate Easter eggs here. Time to try this bad boy. Still nice and hot. Mm. Oh, the custard smells beautiful, especially with that cinnamon. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Got that Easter egg first. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Um. Holy moly, this is so delicious. This is epic. You have got to try this. I know it looks a bit random and a bit funny, but honestly, so delicious. You've got all those really interesting spices that are already in the hot cross buns. And then, I mean, you just can't go wrong with custard and pops of chocolate. It's a really different way to enjoy an Easter recipe as well. Mmm. So warm and cozy. So delicious. Honestly, this makes regular hot cross buns look boring. You wanna go the extra mile and have hot cross bun bread and butter pudding. It's just so delicious. You have to make it, you have to try it. Do it and tell me how much you love it. I wanna hear all about it. How did it go for you when you do? Tell me if everyone loved it. Tell me if they didn't like it. Maybe they're not a fan of bread and butter pudding. But either way, 
get creative, get in the kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do hope that you love this recipe and you love this video. And if you do, please make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell as well because I have a new video coming out every single week. If there are any recipes you wanna learn how to make, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Thanks again, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.